All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Edge AI board by booting it up with an image. So as you can see, you're first going to need a couple items. First being your Edge AI board right here. All right, and then you're going to need an adapter that supports a USB-C cable. And of course, you're going to need a USB-C cable as we have right here. Next, you're going to need a monitor that supports a standard display cable connection. And of course, you're going to need a display cable, as you can see right here. Next, you're going to need an Ethernet cable. And last but not least, you're going to need a micro SD card. As you can see here, we're using a 32 gigabyte Samsung Evo micro SD card. Before we get started, we're going to plug some things into our Edge AI board. First, we're going to start with the ethernet cable. We're going to plug it into the Edge AI board like so. Next, we're going to plug our standard display cable into our Edge AI board. And lastly, we're going to hook this up to the monitor. Before we can boot up the Edge AI board, we first need to format and flash the SD card with the TI Edge AI SDK image. First, we're going to format the SD card. Go ahead and insert your SD card into your PC and open up your file explorer. Navigate over to this PC and here you should see the name of your boot drive. Simply right click select format in the pop-up menu that appears on your screen, select FAT32 for the file system and click start. A warning message is gonna pop up as you see on screen, simply click okay and your formatting should be complete. Next, we're going to begin the process of flashing an image to the SD card. For this, we're going to need an etching software. The etching software we're going to be using is called Valena Etcher. To download this etching software, a link is provided in the description below. First, we need to acquire the image. Navigate over to the TI website. The link is provided in the description below. In downloads, click and download the TI processor image. Once the image has been downloaded onto your PC, open up Balena Etcher, select flash from file. Here, you're going to navigate over to where the image was downloaded onto in your system. Select the TI processor SDK image, click open. Next, select select target. Here, you're going to click the name of your SD card. Click select. Last but not least, click flash. Once the SD card has been successfully flashed, safely eject it from your PC and insert it to the Edge AI board. To do so, you're going to locate the SD card slot on the Edge AI board and they are located directly underneath these pins right here, right in there. Now we're going to go ahead and boot up the board. Before booting up the board, we want to make sure that these pins right in here are in that on configuration. Now we're going to go ahead and boot up the board. So grab your USB-C power cord and plug it into the USB-C port. You should see the red LED indicator turn on and watch the action on your screen. In about 20 to 30 seconds, you should see the screen display a picture of the Edge AI board. Once you get to the screen here on the top right of the display, you should see an IP address of your ethernet. And here you should see a user and a password. This is going to be important in the next steps. Now that we have successfully booted up the Edge AI board, 
we're going to remotely access the Edge AI board using the SSH protocol. To do so, open up the Windows command prompt. In the terminal, type the commands SSH space root at, here you're going to type the IP address shown on the top right of the display. Press enter. If you get a warning, type yes. Press enter. And now you have successfully SSH'd into the Edge AI board. Lastly, before we are able to run demos, we need to run the setup script. To do so, type dot backslash setup underscore script dot sh and press enter. This process takes quite some time, so be patient.